Hello, something a little different for this video. We're going on a virtual visit to an Art Deco treasure, Eltham Palace in the Borough of Greenwich. There's been a house on the site from the 11th century. In the 13th century, it was home to the bishops of Durham, and in the 14th century, it became an important royal palace. Edward IV added the Great Hall in the 1470s. Now, after the restoration of the monarchy, it was granted to Sir John Shaw, his reward for supporting the royalist cause in the Civil War. And the property stayed with the Shaw family until the 1890s, by which time it was in fairly poor condition. And it was acquired by Stephen and Virginia Courtauld in 1933 on a 99 year lease. They'd been looking for a property to house their art collection and a house that was handily placed for central London and also had a garden. They're both very keen gardeners. Stephen, of course, a member of the wealthy Courtauld's textile family. And the floor plan of the house that they created here is a butterfly design, it has two wings. One wing incorporating Edward IV's restored Great Hall with its splendid hammer beam roof. The other range, an ultra-modern Art Deco wing, built to house the art collection and also to provide guest accommodation. And the guest bedrooms were all panelled and had built-in furniture, veneered surfaces, designed to resemble the cabins and staterooms of the cruise liners of the day. And they had ensuite bathrooms, rather a novelty in the 1930s, and not the only novelty in the house. There was underfloor heating, an internal phone and tannoy system, and a centralised vacuum cleaner. Pipes plugged into sockets in the skirting of each room, and they linked to a collecting bin in the basement. The Courtauld's only stayed for a little over 10 years. They gave up the lease in 1944 and the Army Educational Unit moved in until 1992. And in 1995, it became one of the properties in the care of English heritage. And under their management, it's been very carefully restored. Restored using an inventory from 1939 and pictures from a Country Life magazine feature. So what we see today is the house that the Courtaulds created. This is the entrance hall, also served as a sitting room, the pivot between the two butterfly wings. It has a glass dome which floods it with light and the panelled walls have black bean veneer and figurative marquetry and tub chairs and a bent wood table, very 1930s. The circular carpet is a copy of the original, which is now in the v &A, designed by Marion Dawn, a very successful textile designer of the 1930s, married to Ted Kaufer, Art Deco poster artist. The Italian drawing room reflects Virginia's Italian and Hungarian ancestry. This was Virginia's private sitting room. This is her boudoir. And there was a hidden door which led to Stephen's library, panelled throughout in walnut and sycamore. The dining room, very softly lit, lined with a thin veneer of bird's eye maple, and doors with a geometric Art Deco decoration and stylized animals. This is Virginia's bedroom. It's half circular, half rectangular, and it's full of symbolism. There is a sliding door with three panels. The top panel has a V and a C for Virginia Courtauld. The middle panel has a depiction of the Temple of Vesta in the Forum Borium Rome. And the bottom panel has flaming torches the symbol of the goddess Vesta. This is Vesta's eternal flame, which brings warmth and hospitality. And I think the reference here is to Virginia as Vesta, also welcoming her guests, 
the Courtaulds love to entertain and there is a statue of Vesta over the entrance. If there is a theme of Virginia as Vesta then what of Stephen and there are hints to be found around the house that can be interpreted as Stephen associating himself with Apollo. Now in a Roman temple there would be an inner area reserved for the priest and here in Virginia's bedroom it becomes the bathroom where there is a statue of Psyche in a golden niche. Now Psyche in myth was a mortal woman who marries Eros the god of love and then herself becomes the goddess of the soul. There's a hidden secret door from Virginia's bedroom which connects to Stephen's bedroom which is panelled and furnished in aspen wood and with an electric fire. Now I'm going to stay with the theme of Art Deco interiors next time and begin an in-depth look at Art Deco furniture. If you've enjoyed this video hit the like and subscribe buttons and click on the notification bell to be informed when the next video is available or you can subscribe by clicking on the rose window over my shoulder.